All right, so ISTIN 101, also known as IT, also known as Business Information Systems. Now, I'm going to just summarize everything so for you to understand. Obviously, you need to read the notes in order to memorize to prepare for the exams. But I'm just going to give you a summary of every single thing, right? So firstly, what is Business Information Systems? Right? Business Information Systems are basically all your systems which you have in your business, right? Now, in this context, it's computers, it's information, it's your technology, it's your components, and all other aspects that comes to life in a business. Now, obviously, about, let's say, 50 years ago, this was not possible. You wouldn't be learning this now. We didn't have systems, we didn't have technology, we didn't have computers. So, dealings with business is was quite, quite hard. But now that we have this information, we need to obviously, um, systems in place, we need to basically upgrade our technology ways in doing stuff and it will help us now the principles of business information are obviously going to be it helps you and it obviously must be applied to all the things but but you know this right now defining an information system is very very easy it's a system with a set of elements that interact with each other to accomplish goals for example you have a computer you have a mouse both of them it can make it work if you have a let's say your Excel sheet that will help you make decisions if you have a person so all these different systems in computing will when they come together you can obviously work towards a specific goal if you're a business and your goal is to make money you get a computer you get a mouse you get a printer you get that you get that putting everything together you accomplish your goals now what is information now data versus information are two separate things now when you're first thinking about data versus information Think about data first. Data is a raw form. If I go out and I do a survey, all right, when I'm doing the survey, that's the data. When I collect the survey information, put it on a piece of paper, print it out, and give people to know the output of the survey, that's information. Information is process. Information is a done version of data. Okay? So whatever you do first, it becomes data. Then after the process, it becomes information. Now, a information system, also known as IS, is a set of components. Now, you know this, right? Now, processing means converting or transforming. So, basically, you get input, right? Then, you get processing, you get output, you get feedback. For example, an input will be a person, right? Or a mouse, for example. Processing, the computer will. Um, obviously, um, if you click the mouse, it will obviously affect the computer. The output will be, you'll see a cursor moving on the computer, which is an arrow. And your feedback, obviously, what's your output. So what happens? So if you click to open a file, it'll open. So that's the feedback. So that's how it works. Input processing, output feedback. Now, the characteristics of valuable information. Now, what does this mean, characteristics? It means, basically, um, what defines a good information system might be accessible complete, flexible, reliable, simple, accurate, economic, relevant, secure, timely. So all these are characteristics. Now it has to have all these characteristics or some of them in order to be effective. Now manual computer, right? A computer-based information. Okay, so CBIS is a computer-based information system, right? This is a system that is stored on computers, your Excel, your Word, your graphs, your diagrams, all stored on computers. Now obviously this is a very, very good um, information system because you can use it to manipulate data, you can use it to collect data, you can make decisions. If you have an Excel sheet and you, let's say, record how many people come into your business, and if you look at the numbers and it's inclining or it's increasing day to day, you know that, you know what, you're doing good in the business. However, vice versa, if it's going down, then you know, okay, you need to work hard and see what's the problem. So these information that it's on, you can always see what's the problem. Now, what are hardware? When you think of hardware, think of physical objects, objects which you can touch, tangible, that's the key word. Now, obviously, your hardware can be your mouse, your computer, your printer, hardware, all right? Software is a system, your Excel, your Chrome, your Windows, it's something intangible, but it's a processing software, okay? So, if you have like Windows 10 and 11 or 9 or whatever, these are different types of software. Software 10 and 11 would be nice for businesses, but obviously... Most people operate with Windows 10 and 11, you got Word with Excel, but if you get to lower Windows, you probably won't have that. Hmm? So, softwares are very important in business. Database. Now, a database is a set of information. 
Now, let's go to Excel that again. If I put all my values of the number of customers who's come and buying stuff in my business, if I put them in Excel and let's say 100 people listed, names, what they bought, that becomes a data based with information all put together, which I can make my um, judgments, I can look at it, I can pay it, I can do whatever I want. Okay? Data based. Collect the information, put it together. That's the data base. Now, telecommunications networks. So telecommunications, to simplify, is basically electronic form of communication. It's fast. It's like, like the internet, for example, right? You send a message to someone in China, they can get it. It's telecom. It's an electric form of communication. Okay. If I want to send an email from a student to student, you can do that. If you want to phone someone, you can do the telephone. So these are basically electronic ways of communication. This doesn't have to be via people, to okay. Uh, at the end of the day, computers are connected to Wi-Fi, so these are telecommunications. They're connected in electrical ways. Okay? Network, uh, connected computers and equipment in building. Now, obviously, you're familiar with this. Networks are like LANs, Wi-Fi, and the internet is a world large computer network. Now, if people do not know, the internet is probably one of the largest ways in which computer networks are established. They travel under sea, the fiber cables. Are a whole lot of ways in which internet is given to people. Now, people is the most important form when you look at IT information systems, right? Think about it. Without people, this thing wouldn't exist, right? Also, without people, it wouldn't operate because, I mean, you, a person who sits on a computer, is an operating system, right? If you're a business and if you want to collect information, you need a person to do that. You need a person to operate the computer. You need a person to operate the laptop. You need a person to do this, do this, do this. So arguably, people is probably one of the most best components of an information system. Procedures. Now, procedures to simplify this is basically things that you have to do. The procedure for collecting information, you need to uh, make sure it's accurate, right? These are the methods. You have to study law, right? You cannot do something that is illegal. For example, you cannot collect data or compute, um, customs information without the permission. You have to uh, do. You have to maintain the processes, right? Let's say you have a machine, a computer machine in a building or a business. You have to maintain it. Okay, does it need service? Does it need that? Does, is it operating effectively? The procedures, the things in the business processing needs to be done efficiently so it works at the best of its ability. Okay, so business information, same thing. It's all information systems in a business, computers, databases, everything. Electronic mobile commerce. Now, think of mobile commerce as basically businesses. Commerce is a business. It's electronic. It obviously a software. So, if you look at examples, take like Facebook Marketplace. These are businesses that are electronically done. I can search in. I can be in a computer and I can open a ticket and order something and it'll come tomorrow. These are mobile commerces. Now, obviously, it's different. B2B, B2C, C2C, business to business, business to consumer, consumer to consumer. Business to business is one of the most largest ones. Because obviously business to business can um, be effective. For example, let's say Macro gets its suppliers, um, let's say orders, orders equipment right from suppliers. So these are business to business. Business to consumer are most common. These are the supermarkets, right? So like Macro selling to customers, business consumers. Customer and customer are like a Facebook marketplace or Gumtree. Let's say if you want to sell a good, you go on Facebook and you, you advertise it as consumer to consumer. Mobile commerce, same thing. It's um, businesses that are done by a phone. Yeah, so that's basically M commerce, the line of wireless communication. Everything is wireless, right? You're using Facebook, using Gumtree. All that is uh, wireless. Okay, there's no connection, there's no physical connection. And uh, yeah, so that's electronic commerce. Enterprise resource planning, a set of integrated programs, okay, in business. Um, an ERP might do the job of some other types of building information, particularly transaction processing systems. Okay, so enterprise resource planning is basically all the components which need to be in a business in order to function, right? So, which is one of the things of ERP's transaction processing systems. In a business, you have to have a transaction processing system, a cashier. A till, for example, a till. Okay, a till records the purchase, tell you how much change to give the customer.
customs is required to what we in and out in terms of stock. You need that, right? Management information system MIS. Okay, so basically MIS is available to managers, right? So managers will get information about what products sell the most, what products sell the least, how's products selling, and the MIS contains this information. For example, you're a cashier and you are small business, you just basically record what's the best selling um, product on a paper. Now you take this paper and put it on your computer and put it in an email and send it to your manager. That becomes the management information system. But obviously management information is on a larger scale, so it's on a software, it's on Excel, it's put together. Decision support system are basically information which is used to decide, right? So you have information about your business, now you can use it to decide on decision. For example, if you have a good um, good, good products that sell, okay, you go getting sales upon sales upon sales. Now you can decide, okay, you know what, I'm getting a lot of money, I'm getting sales, let's uh, make another product, let's get another product. However, if you are declining in sales, you're like, okay, you know what, I need to get a better product, or I need to find product. So, decision support systems are these, right, at the end of the day. Obviously, a human being is the most important part of the decision support system. Specialized information systems, right, there's lots of them, right? There's artificial intelligence, virtual reality, there's KMS, knowledge management systems. All these are systems which weren't there before, like a couple of years ago, 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago, right? Virtual reality we see now arise, artificial intelligence, chat GPT, all this specialized, okay? They are modern, they are new, they are ready, ready to be deployed. System development is basically, you, you need systems to develop. Okay. You need systems to develop. You cannot go the system, whatever, it needs to be updated. Security and privacy, the same thing. You need to ensure everything is coded, password, not a lot of people have access so you can steal, theft, and also, yeah, security. Global challenges, I mean, people are poor, they don't have access to lots of systems. So, I mean, summary, yeah, that's it, okay? So, that's business information system. It's very important and it's boring concepts, but at the end of the day, it's interesting once you get to know. Okay, so thank you. That's chapter.